I'd like to now introduce the idea of inertial reference frame. But before we do that, it's worth recalling what a reference frame is. A reference frame is a coordinate system in which objects can be located and distances measured. We encountered that in our study of kinematics in the last unit. Newton's laws are only valid in a special kind of reference frame. They're called inertial reference frames. An inertial reference frame is one which is not accelerating or rotating. It's an area in which every object remains in a state of rest or in a state of motion with constant speed and direction unless acted on by an external unbalanced force. So examples of inertial reference frames would be the inside of a bus or a train moving at a constant speed and in a straight line. When you're inside one of those objects um, traveling at a constant speed, um, everything that you experience, the way things appear to move to you is exactly as they would do if you were standing on um, on the Earth itself. Now let's take a look at what is not an inertial reference frame. When you're in your car or in a bus, any kind of a moving object, and it accelerates or comes to a sudden stop, it's not an inertial reference frame. That's why things move in an unusual way. For example, if you have a drink sitting on your dashboard, if you're moving at a constant speed, it'll remain there. Nothing will happen. But the moment you hit the brakes or the moment you accelerate hard, that cup will go flying in one direction or the other. They seem to accelerate, but without any force acting on them. The, the fact of the matter is the drink itself is not accelerating. It is standing still, but the reference frame, the car, is accelerating underneath it. So again, if you think back to the example before where we were looking at the person on the bus, you on the bus, when the bus comes to a sudden stop, you fly forward, it's a case of the bus no longer being an inertial reference frame because it's accelerating. Now, there is a video uh, associated with this particular slide that is well worth watching. It's, it's an old one, but it's worth watching the first two and a half minutes or so because I think you'll, it'll really enlighten you as to what a reference frame is and what an inertial reference frame is. <laughs> 